Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here staring at the next round of ESDA starting line in my ESDA E36, the next level racing, Mazda Racing Torque Drift E36. We're going to Irwindale as well for the next round of ESDA. So we're going to go full send here in some practice before this round this weekend. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which found in the description box below. Let's get our lights on. So there was a lot of requests about bringing the pedal cam back. So what better time than to bring it back for the final round of ESDA and upcoming videos and stuff like that. So we're here on Irwindale. This Irwindale has that inner uh, second inner bank area, which is not like this year's FD was, but it was like last year's. So we're gonna go full send, see what we can do. We're on a bass tune, not sure how the bass tune's gonna do. Let's get your hit. Kind of a little uh, sloppy entry. So we are on the public ESDA server so that we can get the correct amount of heat and everything with temperatures and everything like that for the round. Bring it in on the center clip. That zone is very interesting to get into. But not a bad run. We are, like I said, since we're in the public lobby for ESDA, we'll go back and exit out and take a look at the replays after the fact, after we get a couple runs in. So I think I need to stay in fourth gear though for that final outer zone because I was kind of bouncing around in third a little bit too much. So we have to do some clutch kick stabs and get it in there. So let's see if we can get better entry in here. That would have been a restart with the restart cone. Trying to limit my left foot braking on the wall. They were using a lot of left foot braking to keep their cars up on the wall, but those cars are super gripped up. Quick e-brake grab there in the D-cell zone. We may have started a little bit sooner than the actual D-cell zone. All right, so we can stay in fourth. That was actually not that bad of a run. So that was two runs in succession with uh, no heating up of tires or anything like that. So we're going to do two more runs. We're going to heat up the tires initially before the first run because the second run felt definitely way better. Uh, Irwindale is definitely a track that either you are on it or you're off it. And it could either be good or bad depending on uh, how you are. So let's do a little heat cycle of these tires. See if that helps us in our first run. So for qualifying, we're probably going to be doing two runs without going into pits because I did like how that felt on that second run. So now we get a little bit of heat in our tires. We're going to try and stay high on the bank. Like I said, we'll go take a look at the replays after this. But the bass tune does feel pretty good. That's a really aggressive flick, and I do like how much grip the car does have with heated tires. So that's something we may have to actually do. And that was overall not too bad. Bring it in on the inner clip. This and out. In that diesel zone, that was a, probably a little bit sl slow of a transition. Probably should have transitioned that a lot faster. That is the zone I'm still getting used to because I have never run this version of Irwindale. Uh, I've always run the one like the final round this year where you end after that inner clip. So one more run. We do have hot tires after a heat cycle and then a full run. So we'll see where we're at on this run. Oh, too much of a flick. That was way too much of a flick. We're gonna try probably reset that run. That was uh, a little bit too much on the handbrake, a little bit too much on a quick stab of the brake. We're gonna try and do this flick entry without doing too much, uh, too much grab of the handbrake to initiate. Massage the brakes a little bit to get up to the wall. 
I think we are pretty close to that outer wall. Oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> I don't think the second run on tires is going to be the greatest. We kind of are already out of tread. So we're going to do one more cold run. And then we'll go take a look at the replays from the outside and see exactly where we were on track. Oh, I'm bouncing my wheels through my fender. Seeing where we are on track in relation to the walls and stuff like that. Nope, that's going to be a wall. <laughs> so I think we're going to go take a look at those replays. So we're going to switch to the replays. All right, so this is the first run of the set that we were running. We're taking a look at a couple different camera angles. The E36 definitely looking super nice. So we were kind of mid to high on that first outer bank in that first run. We did manage to get all the way into that zone though. And that was pretty decent. Having to change our cameras a lot for the actual uh, replays. So we're gonna run this and see where we we're at. And we'll click over to 10 to see that inner bank. So this was on the first run with warm tires. About mid to high bank again. I think we can get a lot closer. On that inner bank though, we are on the second outer zone. We were pretty nice on that wall. I feel like we're actually getting that final zone pretty well so we need to work on working our way up in the uh, first outer zone Let's see what this camera's like that's not gonna be a good camera view this one might we might be able to actually see where we are okay yeah we are deep in the zone that time for almost the entirety of that Pretty decent on there. Good hard transition and nice and deep on that outer zone too. Tagging that and then going into that zone, we were pretty much in there. So that run was the better of all of them so far. And that was after heat cycling the tires a little bit. So we may be having to do some heat cycles in the tires in order to get a qualifying run, but we need to manage to see how the tire wear is really going with running, having to run back-to-back -back runs in actual tandem if we do make it into the 32. We'll see where we're at on this one. It's always good to uh, digress these runs from an outside perspective. That one we threw way too hard. Then we went and reset it. And I think this one we also sent a little bit too much. We were nice and deep in the wall there, though. I think we sent this into way too hard on that transition <laughs> and looped that one. And then this one, we ended up in the wall. So overall, first runs on this, not too shabby. Going to do some tuning, fine tuning of the actual uh, tune of the car to see how, where we're at. Oof, it's a hard hit. <laughs> fine tune to see where we're really at and do some more testing before qualifying. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. Appreciate you guys coming back for another episode. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>